We are talking about drinking beer in Southeast Asia, something that I, Scott Coates from Kuala Lumpur, am passionate about. And I know that my co-host Trevor Rangers, who's in Hawaii at the moment, is even probably more keen about it. Howdy to you, Trevor. Aloha, Scott. How are you doing today? Doing great, man. Doing great. And uh, this topic is just one that I'm I'm super pumped about. Uh, I mean, I think we, we both love, you and I, flavorful beers and those being Europeans or microbrews from Canada or the States. And um, it's getting better in Southeast Asia, but traditionally in Southeast Asia, most of the beers are the mass produced Heineken's, Carlsberg's, maybe Asahi, but the point is lagers that are just not super tasty, but there are some interesting finds out there and we're out to discover them today. Yeah, you know, most travelers who come to Southeast Asia, they're aware of Sing, which a lot of people mispronounce Singha beer in Thailand and beer Chong, which right. uh, most backpackers buy a t-shirt of while they're visiting to, to wear when they get home. Um, but I think a lot Must of people have. aren't really aware of uh, the diversity of the, they're not aware of the diversity of the beer scene here and how it's really evolving. Yeah, it's, it's changed quite a bit. And country to country, while well, lager is sort of the mainstay, it's kind of funny. You and I have commented when we go to Cambodia, like, why is Guinness extra stout? And then some of the local Cambodian stouts available and, and people are drinking it, whereas their neighbors like Vietnam and Laos and Thailand don't. And you and I were saying, well, maybe um, it's because of French and English colonialism, because in Malaysia, stouts are also popular here. They're locally brewed and drank fairly cheaply too so there is that slight difference country to country yeah you know one of the things i mean i like to drink ales and i like to drink some some darker more full-bodied beers so i think it's great that traditionally you could get like a guinness extra stout in cambodia they have the black panther extra stout <sighs> um but but for the most part yeah um you know it's mostly lagers with a uh, small variety traditionally yeah, well, we're going to bring in a couple real beer experts, a couple guys that you're good friends with and I've met before uh, from a company called Beer Havana to kind of tell us a bit more about things shortly. But before we do that, why don't you and I just blast through a couple of the beers that people can find in each country? What do you say? Do you want to lead things off with, say, Lao and Myanmar, Trevor? Yeah, you know, and, and one of the things I like to do is I collect beer glasses. So I do have a beer Lao and a Myanmar beer glass. And in Myanmar, I think that was the only beer that I remember being available there. Maybe there's like a Bagan beer that I have a photo of a beer label of. Um, but I know yeah. that tra travelers who come through the region definitely do uh, get an appreciation for the beer Lao, which is the national beer of, of Laos, um, which is actually pretty tasty suds. Yeah, I think... Uh somehow Lao ended up with this great beer and then they also have the beer Lao dark which is 6.5 percent and it's seriously tasty so when you're in Lao that you know the bases are covered you've got a good beer both a lager and then a dark lager by them and I think you're right on Myanmar I think it's just the one beer but I think they might swap like you said like maybe just throw a bagan on it when you're there um why don't we slide right over to Cambodia I know Cambodia I mean it's got a, a range one that always puzzles me and i have a good laugh is there's there's angkor beer named after the angkor empire and then there's anchor or anchor as i hear some people call it, and that's from singapore basically same same but different two loggers one's brewed in cambodia well they're both brewed there but same same uh just whatever you have a preference for i think and then you had mentioned the stouts so tell us what <laughs> what's a black panther Hey, you know, Black Panther is just like, it, it's like eight or eight and a half percent alcohol, extra stout, and uh, they, they cost about a dollar a can. And, and that's one of the cool things about Cambodia is just that whether you're drinking Anchor with a CH or Anchor with a GK, um, beers are really cheap in Cambodia and you can get like a happy hour beer for around 50 cents. Yeah, it's killer. It's one of the things that really uh, adds to my waistline when I go there. It's tough to say no to a beer there. It's uh, it's a fantastic place to drink. And then there's a number of places, right, that you can actually get microbrew beer, especially in the capital Phnom Penh. 